What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Doom. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to go through our little Martian. Oh, we got to go out on airlock today, so that's funsies. We have the chance of explosive decompression at some point. That's always a bright side to my day. Is it not working? Oh. The airlock control apparently has errors. Yep, it's not working right now. Can I pry the door open? I mean, we are inside this badass suit, so chances are it's probably not going to affect us that much when we go out the airlock, right? Like, one might assume. I don't see any way to circumnavigate our current problems out there. But, oh no, there's a button right here. Okay, cool. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the advanced research complex, about 80 kilometers away. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there, but you'll need a UAC corporate facilities clearance card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. You ever notice how thematically convenient it is that, like, these all-powerful AIs can, like, start up entire... S so what you're telling me is you can reroute the entire power grid and make a tram move around, but you can't override a simple security card? <laughs> I don't know. And whenever I play video games, stuff like that happens, and I'm like, this, this seems really unlikely that he would have access to one of these and not the other. Oh, that's fun. We're about to find out, apparently. Oh, shit. Was that a revenant? I think that was a revenant. Yeah, that was a revenant. Goody. We're gonna have to put some rockets on. Oh, shit. Going over the top. Can't seem to get him, neither. God. Goddamn Teflon revenant over here. I'm throwing everything I got at him, and I just can't get him. I just can't get him. It's so frustrating. Oh, there's another one. Goody. Well, here, you get plasma gunned into oblivion then, because I can't afford to be using up all these rockets anymore. Huh, you can boot stop. I should probably look up what my challenges are for this part of the mission as well, so that I can lean towards those as we get further and further into the level. Piss off, you sky jellyfish. I don't think they were decorations. I think they actually wanted to hurt me. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to go with that. They actually want to hurt me. On the plus side, vaporize that dude without too many pro Oh no. You're in a really rough situation right now. I can't believe that worked. I went over his head. I would like for you to die violently if possible. Painfully would also add to that. God. Gotta hope that I don't get point blank shotgunned here. Oh yeah, I've got this charged. Let's do that. Maybe that'll help. It did. I'm gonna assume that one of my challenges is to kill revenants in midair. Ah, good. So we got skeet shoot. We need three data logs, and then five demons with the oh with the chainsaw. Okay, I like that a lot. I like that. The chainsaw is a fun. It's a very very fun weapon to use in this situation. So can I go over this wall right here? No. I noticed that when we went back and over to the left right here, it looked like there was a way over there. How do we get around there? Is there an overhang that I can jump off of maybe? No, there's no overhang. How do we get over there? Aw, oh, dude, this game always got to taunt me with stuff that I can't have. Every time, it looks like there's another walkway right there. That maybe I'll be able to jump back from. I think that's probably it. I think there's a walkway right there. And once we get to there, we'll be able to jump off and get after that. And that probably counts as a secret area. Absolutely loving this game, by the way. I've seen some I've seen some reviews about the game that I simply do not understand. Like it seems like some members of the press are being really overly critical on this game. Whereas what the game set out to be is a classic remake of Doom and Doom 2. 
And that they did a great job. If that's what you were looking for, is just a retelling of the previous Doom games with the with everything retrofitted to be, you know, modern. Sorry, I'm, I'm 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 surveying right now, and I'm processing information while trying to talk. But what I mean is that if you're trying to make a modern retelling of a game, they did a great job. I have a hard time. Oh shit, balls. More revenants. I'm gonna blow him up. Oh, that did not work. Neither did that. Apparently, my aim has suffered. Get rid of you guys real fast. There it is. Give me something. Give me something sexier here. I'm just gonna hit a random number key that's high up on my list. God, that gun goes through him quick. Like, no joke, that thing got rid of him with rapidity. I'm not really worried about them. And I sincerely don't want to waste... Oh, a big armor. Yes, please. I don't want to waste ammo on these little turds either if I can help it. Just not worth it. Sorry, guys. It's not a comment on your value in the greater scheme of things. It's just that I don't like spending ammo on you when things like revenants exist. Yeah, as I say, it kind of feels like we can climb up right here. So what kind of stuff are we looking at? We got a Praetor suit around here somewhere. Oh, the Praetor suit's all the way down at the bottom. We've also got a power-up down there and a demon thingamadoobity over there. We've got to watch out for your demon thingamadoobities. I don't really think it's like... It wants me to go over there, which means I don't want to go over there. I want to explore the rest of the facility and see what's in all these baller-ass areas. Can't go up that way. Didn't think that I could in the first place to begin with, though, so... That's okay. I didn't have my sights set that high at all. Yes, freebie ammo. Oh, that was called the Geraldo facility for a second. I was like, oh, apparently that's the Geraldo facility. Alrighty, then. I was down in that lower level. Hmm. I don't want to get sidetracked for too long. Let's go topside. Let me get the assault rifle out, maybe. Just something that can unleash a little those bit of DACA. And those with whom you serve all operate with the same goal in mind, the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this guiding principle, working together as a team, that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. I always wonder, what's the point of the teeth on a chainsaw? Because some chainsaws have them, and some don't. Like, some chainsaws just have the chain, and then some chainsaws have the chain with the teeth on the chain. Like, what is the what is the point of that? Does it just make it better at cutting stuff? More efficient at cuttery? What is this? Let's see, in-flight mobility. Super shotgun, collect all 15 hell relics, and reach the altar before the timer expires. Gives you a significant increase in control and over-in-air movement after a double jump. Oh, that sounds... All right, we may come across a jumping puzzle in the future that requires us to have something like that in order to do the precision movement that we need. And so it's never a bad idea to increase your library of available utilities. Oh, well, there's one relic. Oh, we get time for each one of these. Okay. That one right there. Oh shit, I missed one. And then I had to go back. Come on. We got this. No! Oh, it was so close. It was so close. We had it. We've got this. I believe that I can do this. It's that little jump at the end. 
and then it's also not over jumping these because you're trying to maintain momentum the whole damn time and so like if you over jump them that's it like you ain't getting nothing done that beeping is infuriatingly annoying or you can just try not to do that ridiculous there we go did it you can try not to do that ridiculous jump that I was trying to do at the end too where you jump out and then jump back in. It's doable. We did it the first time around. But just saying, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna mess with it too much. Didn't want to mess with the formula. It's me and my chainsaw chilling. Hmm. So we're supposed to go in that way. Which leads me to believe that I should probably wander around. Oh, shit. A pretty resilient eyeball right there. If you could just stick like a. Gotcha, bitch. Done for now. I say, and then we gotta move right afterwards. Move like we're getting bullied in homeroom. And I will need your health very, very badly. Oh no. I definitely didn't feel like dealing with you right now. Ugh, that attack. There we go. Oh my god. Movement is difficult. You have to die now because I need your health juices. Like, right this second. Health juices, I need to... Did that guy just have, a, like, a spin-out burnout from one of his engines? I don't think I've ever seen him do that death animation before. Little blow-up right there. You know, the rocket launcher does stay a pretty good weapon. That's one of the things I always found funny about Doom. Is, like, as you play it, the rocket launcher becomes more like your default battle rifle than anything else. You start running the rocket launcher deep. As you get to the further levels, you're just like, yeah, I don't use anything but the rocket launcher, mostly. It's just so efficient. It's good for everything. If it made julienne fries, we'd have the whole package deal. Although, why julienne's fries are anything useful, I'm not sure. You have to ask Julianne about it. Like, why are your fries held in such high esteem versus everything else? Looks like there's something over there. So let's have a look here. There's got to be something good in this area. So it looks like there's a Praetor suit down below. Ow. After I set myself on fire. It looks like there's a Praetor suit down below and under around somewhere. It's actually off to the left, but I can't see it. Um... Maybe this is it? Yeah, the problem is that we haven't found the auto map yet. And so a lot of the adventuring we're going to be doing here is going to be inefficient to say the least. Shit. Oh, dude. Am I stuck on a wall? What's happened here? Yep. Shit, I got greedy and I went after the... I didn't get greedy, I was trying to heal myself because I knew I only had one hit left. And he fired right where the health stuff was because he knew I was going over there. Little floaty prick. I'm not even, like, mad about dying. What's a pain in the ass, though, is that now i got to figure out where the shit on the map I died at. So I can get back over there and try to find that secret again. Because I do think we were onto something over there. I think it's right there. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we'll go through here. This time, can we have like a real weapon? Like something that actually kills stuff? Thank you. That'd be great. I'm actually not a big fan. Like, I kind of wish the game had some kind of like weapon wheel or something. I don't know. It's hard to get the gun you want. Piss off. There we go. Oh good, there's another one, and he shoots through. He has no... Ugh. He has no flinch animation. 
I'm used to flinch animations in Doom where if you put a round on somebody, you don't need to dodge because they do that <laughs> flinch thing. There's another one over here, I think. And I don't have the health to take his damages. So did that count as a secret or was that just like pointless down here? I think it was just pointless. Man, it was just an ambush spot where they could take my armor and my health. Disappointment. Alright. Well then. Let's go back this way. That was a net lose. And Annette does not like to lose. She's a very, very sore loser. What's going on down here? Anything useful? What's the point of this? Do you open? No. Why would I want to go down to this ledge? I really, really, really want what's over there. Like, very, very badly. Fortunately, it does not appear to be accessible from the direction that I was trying to assess it from. So, let's go back up this way. Oh, we've been here before. I recognize this map. This is the place where there was like a little skiff thing right here. Yeah, there was a skiff like chilling. Yeah, I know where we are. This is like the second or third level. Like right after shit starts to go down. Sort of makes you wonder where that ledge is at. So you ain't making that jump right there. That jump's a little hectic. It might be a faith thing. You might have to like jump off from this side over here. And then just like... Shit. Well, runner attack again. I'm gonna catch you with the super shoddy a couple times. And off goes your shoulder. He just couldn't bear the burden. If I could keep them out from behind me, that'd be great. That would be satisfactory in all regards. Just get down. I don't want to mess with you right now. Oh, they bite you? How did he bite a chunk out of my chest when he's like four feet away? I don't feel like that animation was copacetic with my mental image. Like, so he bit a chunk out of my chest when he was like easily way outside arm's length. Arm's length? Eh. Seems generous. They gave him a freebie. I suppose this is where we come back in from. I think that over there... I don't know. It's right at the curve right here. There's a bunch of jump pads. So yeah, I think that's where we died right there. And then you have to drop down. And that'll make the whole thing more apparent. I, I think we're onto it right now. But yeah, I wish there was a better way to like swap guns. I keep finding myself in this weird God. Keep finding myself in this weird situation where I can't get the gun that I want out. Because the number key my hands are small. The number key is too far away from the hand in order to get after it. I do wish they'd given you like a weapon wheel or something. I'm sure there might be one, but I just don't know about it yet. Oh look at this. There are a lot of little nooks and crannies in here, aren't there? Where does that take you? Oh. I'm glad I had the chain gun out. There are lots of bad guys. Make me shout. There we go. So they're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Waste of ammo, but you're done. What I need is an endless loop of can you feel the love tonight behind this while I'm playing. Can you feel the love tonight? tonight? But you gotta have the guys in the background that do the ooby dooby wop away. You gotta have those guys in the back. If you don't have those guys, don't bother. I don't wanna play anymore. I'm done. The game is finished. Oh, that plan was terrible. 
I did not like that plan at all. Why would you put me back up here? I don't want to be back up here. Ah, shit, they're trying to kill me again. That was completely and totally a reflex. That was so reflexive that I can't even try and play it off. It was just like, well, luckily I was holding down the left key. Ooh, straight down the center. Yeah, that's that good shit right there. But that's what I think they wanted. Oh, insufficient fuel? No! Right when I was going in for the good shit, too. And tell me inf insufficient fuel. Damn it. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Nobody likes... Eh, never mind. I'm a Megadeth fan. I don't know why I just did that. It's embarrassing. Now the other Megadeth fans aren't going to love me like they're supposed to. I'm like, no, actually, one time you invoked Metallica. We can't love you anymore. I'm like, oh, man. I knew I forgot one of the rules. What's up here? Oh, I can't go up there? Because it looks like a place that I can go. I'm going to go. They can't stop me. Yeah, that's what I thought. They can't stop me. I want to be on top of this thing. I'm going to be on top of this thing. I like how this level is kind of free roam, though, and I can, like, do whatever I want. That's pretty cool. I like how they're just giving me carte blanche to just explore all over the place and find things. No, don't go up there. Not yet. Hold on. I don't know if this is a wise plan. We got to gotta powwow a little bit longer before we decide we want to do anything crazy, like jump off any ledges. Yeah, I know where we are. This is actually the beginning of a level over here where we started off last time. Might be worth it to go back over here. Just have a little look around. Who's spreading around all these armor modules and shit when we've already been here? Who has any idea? Yay! Health packet. I think the hover skiff broke. Don't tell my super. My super's gonna be very, very upset when he finds out I broke the skiff. The loading skiff. Woo! Almost fell off a cliff, too. Accidents happen every now and again. It's dangerous on Mars. This is the real life. This ain't just fantasy. We aren't caught in a landslide. But there are no escapes from reality here. I think I may have to use this jumpy thing over here. Oh shit, maybe not. But that one launched me back up onto... What does this little jumpy one over here do? Hold on. Jumpy thing, I command you. Whisk me away. Ooh. Funsies. And then down there is the thing. I saw it when I was flying through the air. Yeah, there's the power up. How the hell... Like, can I redirect myself in midair? Oh, I can. That might be how you do it right there, then. But I may have to put in the other rune. The... Yeah, the, the significant jump control one. Oh, it does. Wow, that makes it so you can, like, move hardcore in midair. But only after you... Oh, okay, I got you. This might take some doing. I don't even know if this is the right way to do this. I might be doing this the wrong way. Yeah, I may need to redirect myself so that I land over there. What is that thing? I don't even know what that power-up is. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. It's uh, basically a soul sphere. Gotcha. And then in here, oh, there it is. After all that pining, we finally got it. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all in the next episode of Doom. Bye, everybody.